So our tip of the week this week is reducing and creating area calculations. So let me talk about that for just a second. So this is, you know, if you are going to uh, need to reduce that area calculation, like I said, there's a couple ways to do that. Uh, first is I can simply check, mark, check this and then type in, say, I want to reduce it by 10%. Okay, so that's a calculated reduction. So what that means is that it's now going to change from 350 square feet, 351 square feet, which is what it's showing here. And it's going to reduce that to a calculated area now of 316 square feet. Really important also is changes will take effect if the zones are updated. So if you click this button and go, okay, you don't see any changes here in this dialog, it's because you have not updated. So what you need to do, like I was talking about before, you need to open up your zone tool, uh, update zones from the design menu. Design menu, go to update zones, open up this dialog, and select that area where you want to reduce the area uh, for a calculation standpoint, and click the update it select zones. Now, that is not reducing the physical size of the area. Physical size is still 351 square feet, which is what it shows. This is reducing it because of calculations that you need from a different perspective. Maybe it's for, you know, development purposes or whatever it's for that you want to, you know, reduce that for uh, your, your own calculations. So that's how you would do that. Now, you can also do it globally. That's, that's a specific area where I'm doing that, right? I can also do it globally by going to my project preferences, going to zones. When I bring up the project preferences, I can reduce it by wall recesses. So we've got niches, right? I can also do it uh, by or, um, uh, wall and column subtractions where I would want to reduce those. Again, if you're a developer, you may want to you know, reduce your wall the column subtractions for development. And I can also do it for uh, low spaces, like for ceiling reductions, uh, and that kind of a thing as well. Now, if you want to create an area calculation, uh, there's a couple ways first to, to use this. Uh, first off, in ARCHICAD, there are defaults that are there. So if you go to your document menu, go down to schedules, uh, they have a couple here to start with. The, room area schedule and the occupancy and occupancy load schedule. Those are two great ones to start with. Uh, perhaps you can just use those to edit versus creating new, but those are great ones to start with. Though, if you open up the room area schedule as an example here, we have those through three rooms I was just showing you. It would list those three rooms with the, the floor, uh, the room number, uh, it's, it's category type, it's a different area, and of course I've had multiple uh, Rooms, it would, you know, it will list the, the room totals here, and then of course the total for the building. Now I could also create, or I should say, I can also um, edit uh, these as well. So if you want to edit a default schedule, what you're going to want to do is go to, you know, open up the schedule, click the scheme settings button here. It will then open up that schedule. You can see the criteria for this room area schedule is to show uh, <clears throat> or to create room calculation, areas calculation for a zone. Uh, any zone that's part of this layer, really important here, to, something to keep in mind, uh, this is something they have in the default. So if you have zones that are on a different layer, it will not do the calculation here for the rooms. It's only gonna do room uh, calculation if it's on the room uh, layer. Uh, zone layer here. So make sure it's on the zone layer. It will not do calculations for, for any zones that are uh, um, to be demolished spaces. Once you've got all this defined, it will then do uh, calculations for showing the fields for a home name or story name, the zone number, the zone name, and of course the area. And then the way that it calculates this in terms of, of creating a sum is this little button right here, okay? So that button, this little E, means it's going to create a sum for this calculation here. So that's how it's doing that um, as a total at the base of the, the area calculations. Now, if you wanna create a new schedule, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go back up to that document menu, go down to schedules, and go to scheme settings. That's gonna open up this dialog, 
And now you're going to want to create a new schedule. So let's say an example like you want to do a floor and site area schedule. Really simple. And so what you're going to want to do, select something similar maybe to what you were doing, like floor area schedule. You could duplicate that one if you want. Or you can just create new scheme and type in floor and site area schedule. This option right here will allow you to pick um, one of the three categories, either as an element schedule, a component schedule, or a surface schedule. In this case, you'd want an element schedule, but of course these will calculate based upon what your needs are. <clears throat> Once you've done that, you want to then define the criteria. In this case, you want to find first the criteria as being a zone, because we're not calculating for all elements, we're only calculating for zone elements. You're then going to want to add another zone category criteria. Uh, to do that, you want to click this button that says Add Criteria uh, to help filter it, so you don't have to search for all the, all the um, categories. Uh, just click um, zone or type in zone. It'll show you the the, the um, different uh, criteria that's available for zones. In this case, I could just go and select ID and category. If I click that and go add. It's going to add this to this. And now I can define what I want to um, what zone categories I want this to um, calculate for. In this case, I want site area. Add another one. Again, go find the zone. And what we want to do now is we want to uh, change this one to be building footprint. And so now it's going to basically do a zone area calculation for only two categories. Uh, the first being site area, the second being building footprint. Once you've done that, you want to then define your fields. Now I'm going to keep this really simple, but of course we can get a lot more complex. In this case, I'm only going to add two fields. Click this button that says Add Fields. Uh, similar to what we just criteria, you can type in Zone Category. It'll find a Zone Category. Go Add. Again, Add Fields. Add Measured Area. Now we have these two fields. And now when I open up that schedule, it's going to create a simple schedule here showing my Zone Category for Building Footprint and my Site Area uh, uh, as well. So we can see the two. And then I can either do my own self, I could measure the two, I could divide the two, I could create a percent of what that is if I need that for code or for um, to, to show. Um, and I can also add in, I'm not going to go this today, but I got in a new um, Archicad calculation here that would even show me um, the difference between these two and even a percent if I wanted to see that. <clears throat> 